Um, so yeah, one of the things that I'm picking out of, of that is um, you know that idea of of blending uh, to some degree academic research, you know, with with your writing and incorporating that. So is is that something you bring to the classroom with your students? You know. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's it's they all um, you know overlap uh, are connected. In fact, I've used it as a model to teach um, persona poems, and I do persona workshops around the country. Um, but I've devised the you know devised a formula that's based on uh, research, uh, memory, imagination, and empathy. That if you have those four things. You can write anything, and you need those four things to write historical poetry. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, a lot of people, you know, writing, their, making their first attempts have contacted me, and so I've read a lot of manuscripts that have now become books. Some of which have won awards that I wish I'd won. <laughs> um, you know, the uh, Adrian Matijic Smoke uh, it is amazing thing about Jack Johnson. Um, and I worked with him on his his collection, uh, and I thought he was going to win the National Book Award. He was a finalist for the National Book Award. Uh, everybody I knew said he had it hands down, but he ended up not winning. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, you know, it's, it's judges is so so it's so subjective when you consider that point. But it's an amazing book. Um, but I think you know we're really close to having a critical mass uh, of new work that qualifies as historical poetry. So much of it, so that bookstores and, and and libraries will have to start like creating a section mm -hmm. for historical poetry and using that that phrase that you know you know when my first book came out the reviewers called it historical fiction rendered as poetry which confused me and made no sense uh, but they couldn't they refused to say historical poetry because no, I never used it before. They didn't want to be the first ones to use it. Yeah, like they're it, belaboring the form. But it maybe. is what it is. I mean, if you look at it, the form, if you understand the content, it's historical. It's poetry, historical poetry. What's hard about that? <laughs> um, but they knew that there was a historical fiction. Mm -hmm. uh, so they leaned back on what they knew. Mm -hmm. uh, 